If you've got a tough job and are looking for a way to get out of the nine to five grind, real estate can help you. And I'm here to show you how to put that all together in a realistic and transparent way. John from Baltimore, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Watts. And uh, John, I'm sure you already noticed this from the last video, other regular viewers. As you guys can tell, I am not in the uh, Holton Wise TV studios, uh, currently coming to you from my house, right? Uh, reason being, I just had a second child, okay? And I'm uh, here at home for a little while, helping out my wife, uh, trying to, you know, get us a, a nice little routine here, right? And that is, you know, kind of related to what we're trying to do, right? Like, John, your situation, brother, I'm trying to help you change your life with real estate investing to where you can do things similar to this, right? You are a police officer. I can't think of a tougher job to do in America right now than, uh, you know, a police officer, right? And a lot of people, uh, you know, they come, they come to Holton Wise or they come to real estate investing in general to try to help them get out of the rat race, try to change their financial future, try to set themselves up where they don't have to do very tough, difficult jobs, right? And I'm living proof that you can do that with real estate, right? Like, you know, for me to do my job, uh, I can take a couple of weeks off when my wife has our second baby and work from home during that time, right? I can still make money while being here, being physically present for my family, right? It's, it's kind of hard. It's very tough to do that if you're a police officer, right? You got to be out there uh, in the streets, uh, you know, solving crime, stopping crime, dealing with criminals, things of that nature, right? Uh, so, you know, there's a time in my life I would never have been able to do something like this, right? I've, you know, I've had jobs from managing radio shacks to stocking pop for 7-Up to, uh, you know, installing invisible fences, right? For the, the pets there, right? If you guys are familiar. Um, you can't do any of that stuff from your house, right? But uh, real estate really changed my life, allowed me uh, to have that financial freedom, right? The financial freedom, it's not necessarily like you invest in real estate for a few years, then you never have to do anything again. No, but it does allow you uh, to essentially work and earn income wherever you are 24 seven, right? So that is the goal. I've accomplished that goal. John, I want to help you accomplish that goal. I'm very, uh, proud of you and thankful for you for the, the great job you're doing, even though everybody else in this school, not everybody else, but a decent chunk of people in this country don't want to give uh, police officers like you their credit, uh, which is just maddening to me. You guys are doing a great job. Keep your chin up out there, brother. It will get better uh, eventually. This madness will end. Um, but from a financial standpoint, let's talk about steps we can do uh, to get you set up, right? This property, dude, I banged this one out of the park for you, in my opinion. 3604 West 50th, Cleveland, 44102. It's been on the market. Uh, and then it, they got taken off the market, and then it came back on the market, right? So it's available right now. $48,500, dude, just a cheap duplex. And the reason it's cheap, and probably the reason that it came back on the market, right, is it's, it's, it's shitty, okay? It's, it just looks like shit. Uh, first of all, it's in a D-class neighborhood, okay? But I love this neighborhood, right? This is near Metro Health. John, you and I have specifically talked about this neighborhood. Uh, you're high on it, I'm high on it, okay? D-class investing, guys, it's tough. It's rough. You're dealing with a lot of fucking assholes. I mean, that's, that's just what it is, right? Uh, anybody out there who's trying to tell you you could invest in these low-income neighborhoods and uh, the people all living in low-income neighborhoods are, you know, of similar or same quality to those in your fancy suburbs. Uh, you know, that's not the case, man. Like, sure, on an individual basis, you'll get some fucking assholes in the nice suburbs and you'll, you'll get some really great people in low-income neighborhoods. But uh, if you're looking at trends, you're looking at it logistically, realistically, right? There's a lot more fucking assholes in uh, tough neighborhoods, okay? That's just uh, the nature of the beast. If you're watching the video out here and you're all offended by that, well, fuck off. I don't know what to tell you, dude. That's real life. Uh, fuck your feelings. But, uh, you know, that's what it is, right? 
So that scares a little bit of people off, okay? Uh, but all that notwithstanding, dude, this is how we make a lot of money, right? You could take these higher risk neighborhoods where a lot of other people are scared off by that and you can alleviate a lot of those risks with the section 8 program right the biggest risk is they tell you fuck off i'm not paying rent right then you got a victim and then you're dealing with uh, a vacant property and you're dealing with you know a lot of shysters down in there in these neighborhoods it's tough it's high risk right there's a lot of criminals i mean like you know criminals man where, where do you guys think criminals live right i mean you know after you get out of jail like what, what neighborhoods do you think you live in you don't go live in the most expensive neighborhood in the in the market usually, right? You go live in the, the cheaper neighborhoods is essentially where you end up living, right? Um, so when your properties go vacant, they are, you know, very high risk to be broken into, right? But with the Section 8 program, we alleviate a lot of that, right? We get government guaranteed rent, so we don't have to worry about not getting our rent as much as we normally would. And number two, because the rent is guaranteed, we're not evicting folks. We don't have to deal with our properties being vacant as much. We don't have to deal with crime, right? So it's kind of like the cheat code to, to, to these low-income areas, right? So, I mean, if you look at the photos, we got one tenant in there, okay? They're paying 600 long-term tenant. The other tenant, uh, they moved out, so we just have another empty unit, right? And it's, it's a grimy, it's a grimy looking building, right? I mean, like the kitchen, you know, it's, it's not looking great, right? Like the cabinets are all mismatched. The they're missing some drawers there. The the flooring is all dated. There's still dirt and grime. You know, it's not nice, right? Uh, it, it's just not in uh, impeccable condition. But that is what we are doing. That is the point here. That is the goal, right? We're trying to take ugly real estate and make it look good. Which, by the way, in the basement here, this is a this is a great picture. I love this picture of the basement. Okay. You got two washers and dryers, maybe three. I don't know. There's just crap, crap everywhere. I think most people are probably looking at the wall and they see all that grime and crap and just junk on the wall or just like dirty clothes and just crap all over, right? It's kind of dark. It's dingy. I think that is what a lot of people are looking at, right? That's not what I'm looking at, dude. What I'm looking at in the very left corner, you could see it just squeezed there in the left corner on the other side of that big ass pole, dude. That is a hot water tank to me that looks like it's probably only like three years old, bro. That's what I'm looking at. And you see that furnace kind of in the center. It's kind of dark. You can kind of not tell. But hey, dude, I bet you that's a 10-year-old furnace, brother. That's what I'm looking at. Everyone else is like, oh, there's clothes, it's grimy shit on the wall. I'm scared. Fuck that, dude. I'm looking at the things that matter, the real money. The fact that I got to replace furnaces every 15 years, and that son of a bitch right there is probably only like three years old. The fact that I got to spend three Gs replacing furnaces. I'm sorry, hot water tanks over 15 years. I think I said furnaces. I had to replace hot water tanks over 15 years. They, talk, they cost a G. That son of a bitch is only about uh, probably three years old if I had to guess, right? Maybe five, okay? I got to replace furnaces every 30 years. Those sons of bitches are three Gs. That furnace right there is probably only like 10 years old, dude. That's what I'm looking at as far as this basement goes, right? So I love the fact that this is grimy. It's scary to people. Uh, things of that nature, right? I love that. It's going to help us beat the price down, right? So we got this high-risk neighborhood, but I gave you the cheat code, right? The, the Section 8 program. That's how you make consistent returns. Number two, number two reason why I love this neighborhood, bro, Metro Health, man. It's a, it's a hospital, big, huge hospital. Cleveland, the Cleveland market is big on healthcare, dude. They're investing a billion dollars in their campus and the surrounding neighborhood, which is very, very close to this one, right? So I see this property eventually going on an uptick, right? So with all that said, grimy, crappy right now, I believe you can probably come in and pick it up for cash at $40,000. Then eventually, now here's the thing. I know you have 45,000 in cash to work with, but you really want to do a bird deal, right? It, it's possible that this property is in decent enough shape where you could pick it up and just use a loan currently right now. Uh, or you may want to try to find some extra cash lying around to do this rehab when you decide to do it, right? You could do it in stages too. Uh, so what I think you should do, pick it up for 40 Gs, probably cash. That's going to give us the best chance to get the best price. And then as far as when you do the rehab for this bird, you don't have to do it all right now. We got one paying tenant. Uh, we could rehab the other unit, uh, you know, at this time. And then when that tenant moves out, we'll rehab that unit, things of that nature. We could do it in shifts, but eventually... 
for this investment to be complete, my plan to be complete, for it to be a good burr, for it to make some sense, is you're going to buy it for 40, spend 25,000. So you're going to be all in for 65,000. And what you're going to do at 25,000, bro, that's going to go towards the cosmetics of both units, right? Floors, walls, kitchens, baths, make them both look good, right? That nasty ass kitchen ain't going to fly. But once you have dropped 25 G's total into this thing as cosmetics for both of the units, at that point, you'll probably have two Section 8 tenants paying you $750 a month, right? That's $1,500 a month coming in, $18,000 a year. Of the $1,500 a month that comes in, I'm thinking on average, you're going to spend approximately seven and a quarter to operate this property, leaving you with an NOI of $775. Now, this is where it gets good, right? We get a little bit of love from appreciation from the fact that they're putting in a billion dollar investment into this neighborhood. Number one. Number two, we make the units look beautiful. Updated kitchens, updated baths, rents at $750 a piece. Now, at $25,000, that's going to be mostly cosmetic stuff. Uh, the furnace and the hot water tank that I saw, they look pretty good. Is it possible that by the time you go to appraise this, you've got to put a new roof on to get this appraised value? Possibly. So that might add another six or seven K. Um, but if the thing worked out where you spent that original 65 and we get this bad boy to appraise for what I think it'll appraise for, probably about 80 grand, that, my friend, would be 125% return on your investment because of the 65 you originally spent, the bank would loan you back 60 if it's valued at 80,000, thus leaving you with only 5,000 in the deal. Now, again, possible, I don't know the condition of the roof, right? The, the listing agent hasn't provided that to us. We will find that out when our general home inspector tells us what's going on. So, you know, with this scenario, I've got you only keeping five G's into the deal. Very possible instead of five G's, you end up spending like another six or seven uh, to do a new roof. But still, at that point, you're like, what, 13 G's into the deal and the motherfucker brings in 1500 bucks a month. I mean, it's still a solid deal, brother. It makes sense. And you don't have to do it all right now because I know currently at this moment, you have 45K in cash. You could do it slowly, right? Because there is uh, some below market rent coming in, right? The tenant, their, their unit looked a little messy. But again, dude, that's D-class investing. That's that's part of the game. You've already uh, dealt with that stuff. Uh, first of all, you deal with people uh, much worse than this, right, given your job as a police officer, number one. And then number two, uh, you also have rental properties. You have Section 8 rental properties. So it's nothing that uh, I don't think you can handle or you're not familiar with, right? So that's why I thought this deal made the most sense for you. If you want to, to make an offer, whether it be a cash offer or a financed offer, just reply to this email and uh, we will work with you to get that written up. And of course, we'll make it contingent on a third party home inspection. And if anything comes back crazy, dude, we could use that to renegotiate or possibly pull out of the deal. Like I'm not factoring in the fact that there could be structural issues, right? The inspector is going to tell us that. I'll tell you what, if there's a structural issue in this property, that's going to blow all the numbers. We'll probably back out. Uh, but if it's just like, you know, telling us like the other furnace, the other hot water tank or mid to end of life, that's probably not going to be that big of a deal because I know we got at least two that are looking pretty decent. Uh, so just minor stuff like that. But this is a good starting point. We'll go from there once we get a little bit more information. Uh, but either way, man, I think the numbers speak for themselves, dude. This is going to be a killer deal. Uh, everybody else out there who's watching this show, if you like what I'm doing, uh, if, if you are working your nine to five job and you got to clock in every single day, you know, maybe you're not fighting crime uh, like my dude John is, but you still got some prick boss bothering you or you just you know, you're sick of the grind, dude. And, and you like the fact that I'm sitting at my house and I'm still able to, to run my business, earn my income while, you know, helping my wife with our, our children. Uh, you know, it's nice to be in close proximity, physical proximity to the family, uh, but still be able to effectively do your job from anywhere in the world, right? If, if you want to utilize real estate investing, have sources of income coming into your life, without you just clocking in for the nine to five and you, you like what I'm doing with John, helping him out, try to get him to accomplish that goal. Just go to holdenwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click the MLS search and analysis show and order yourself a package. John did a, a few properties with me and it's better to do the bigger packages, right? The three pack, the four pack, the 10 pack guys, because I can take your goals, your wants, your needs, right? You buy the package, uh, then we'll send you an email asking you a bunch of questions about information about yourself, your goals, your wants, your needs, your situation, right? And then we'll make you a video based upon all that. Then you guys get the video, you review the video. Maybe you want to buy the property I presented, maybe you don't, and you want to give me more information, or maybe you changed your mind on things, or maybe since I gave you new information about the market, some things you originally thought you wanted, you no longer want. 
you then give me that new feedback and then I hit the drawing board again, get you your second video. And we just work back and forth, back and forth. It's very much an evolution, right? We do that so we can build you your portfolio in the right way, right? There's no great properties and there's no horrible properties, right? All properties can be great. All properties can be horrible, guys. It's all about finding the right property for the right investor with the right financing at the right price, right? And the only way to do that is to go back and forth and really understand each other, okay? So that's why I recommend you do that. That's what John is doing. And I hope to get him out of the rat race and uh, bring some consistent passive income to him so he could eventually one day uh, make money no matter where the hell he's at, guys. That's all I've got for today's show. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless. From reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.